Don't forget to like on Facebook. Link is in the description. Theory. So, the unique places this day and age that are created, it never ceases to amaze me. A new cafe opens up sometime December this year, where you can get a coffee, a Danish, and your dick sucked for your personal comfort. I bullshit you not. Now don't get excited, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be something mainstream like Starbucks. This is something that's going to be more toward the night scene and the more fetishy crowds because we don't want little Timmy walking in and seeing all the pretty ladies swallowing all the hot dogs without chewing. It's like London's version of Happy Ending. Okay, so apparently for 50 bucks you get your coffee, an iPad, and a list of girls that will service you for 15 minutes and it's an additional ten dollars for every other 15 minutes okay so what happens when Macho Dick or Rubber Johnson comes in there and they take like 45 minutes to climax your girls are gonna be more tired than third shift see but what I'm most curious about is how is this exactly going to be legal? How are they going to be able to maintain this place, you know? Because prostitution is legal in London, so I hear. you Prostitutes are legal over there. Just, it's backwards as hell because prostitution's legal, but running a brothel is illegal. And I would think this kind of runs under sex operation. I mean, it's just a nut-busting house that sells coffee. Now, personally, I like the idea. I do, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I believe prostitution should be legal with strict laws everywhere. I mean, prostitutes should have a little card with their testing and everything. and So when their clients call them up, they can check out their results and everything. Prostitution would be could be you know, an asset to stop fucking rape, you know, and I see this as like, um, an exotic adult lounge, like, it's just, say, an addition to a strip club or, or a swinger club, uh, um, you know, the, the, the fetish nightly crowds, it's a nice little add-on to that, you know, where you can just come in and climax and get you a little mocha mocha. I mean, London is full of freaks. I mean, come on. This is the, Look at the owner. Look at the owner of the place. Tell me he doesn't scream ex porn star. You know he's gonna bust a nut in your coffee mug, right? See, London is on its way to becoming, like, the sex capital of the world. Because everything sexy as fuck comes from London. Or it is, you know, in London. Like, London loves sex, and not only because it sells. By the way, I'll have to remember to like bring a damn towel with me next time I go there because the streets are going to be very sticky. But I just hope they have the hospital burn ward on, on standby for this place. You know why. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh God, you're better than my grandmother and my stepmom. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 my dick! Oh, that's hot! Kisu Theory Channel Nation. Cross Kisu at Facebook.com.